And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some rank up Sunday streaming. That's right, we're going to be uh, trying to get our rank back up because uh, after last, we had a really good rank up Sunday last week. But after that, uh, we haven't uh, been playing the most competitive or doing the best over the week. So it's time, it's that uh, time of the week to rank back up. We're playing five decks today. Should be a fun day. We're going to be starting with Karma Thresh Control. Um, this is just a, a really good, a solid deck. A lot of people call this Spooky Karma. This is kind of my version of Spooky Karma. I like having Thresh in it. Not everybody plays another champion. A lot of people will just play Karma with no other champion. But it's just a, a pretty solid deck. So um, that's going to be our first one today. We're playing just like, you know, we're playing that. We're going to be playing Karina Control, Ezreal Karma, two of the best decks in, in Legends of Runeterra. Um, and then a newish deck with Yeti Smash that we did last Tuesday, but then a brand new deck today, Fearsome Callista. I've been really impressed with Callista and um, going back and pairing Callista with uh, like the Fearsome Spiders, um, you know, Arachnoid Horror and, and stuff like that. Uh, looking forward to that one. I was playing that. I was playing the Fearsome Callista deck a good amount earlier today um, as I was putting that together. And I think that one's going to be a good one. But first... Karma Thresh Control, 2194. Right. You get on up there. All right, let's get the spooky. Um, Let's see. Let's have Gromp hang out today. Gromp Jr. Oh, yeah, Moonlight. That's perfect. Where where do you, where do you live, Moonlight? And Boot, how's everything going? Did you are you Boot? Are you in Virginia now? Let's see, Heimerdinger Karma. So we're playing against some control. Rekindler is going to be good, but we'll ship it because, of course. We obviously need to draw a champion first before Rekindler would be good. All right, Shadow Assassin, this is your game. Are you ready? Are you ready, Shadow Assassin? This is your game to shine. You're going to do it all. I'll count on you. Gromp Jr. is counting on you, Shadow Assassin. This really is Shadow Assassin's game. They cannot hide. You cannot escape. Um, I guess Shadow Assassin is saying that she cannot do a bunch of stuff. We need to keep. We need to have Grasp the Undying up starting next turn for the Dinger and the Karma. Both of those five mana, three toughness. Hmm. Well, Shadow Assassin, you played your part. I was counting on you. I was really counting on you. But alas. We'll draw in the mist call. We can throw down karma. Boom. How many cards we got? Three, six, nine. Ooh. We'll draw one more card. Uh, what should we do? Just pass. Pass sounds kind of cool. Problem with passes, I guess I do have ten cards. Answers. I have them. No. Bad Heimerdinger. I'm glad we passed. That was perfect. Because now we have removal with deny. And really hope they do not have um Flash of Brilliance. Darn it. Ah, 
Burst speed. Can't do anything about burst speed. Burst speed's cheap. Okay, cool. You're you're here in North Texas also? Awesome. Man, burst spell is cheating. Laxmatist. Well, um, this is not good. Not too good at all. We're still at 20, thanks to the life gain. Um, but, you know, this is... It's a fast clock with those elusives. Hey, QQ. Let's see. Maybe I'm supposed to deny that because because it does get them to the floor be gone. Actually, that probably is just supposed to be a deny, isn't it? Or maybe maybe I just let maybe I just let Karma die and then. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I had nine mana. I couldn't rekindle her and a missed call. Couldn't do both. Now we can start rekindling it. The thing, we need to draw Withering Whales. Alright, deck. We need Withering Whales. Ruination would be nice. But Withering Whale. We gotta clear up these turrets. Gotta get rid of them. Nope. Who can you block? You can block this one, block that one. Poor Spider. Always on blocking duty. Withering Whale. Okay, okay. Um, so I have nine cards. If I play Rekindler, we're down to eight, but then we'd get like two extra cards with the Karmas. I think that's the plan. I could, you know, like one, this is four toughness, but I can't, you know, I can't grasp and do anything else to, to kill that thing now, so. Why that thing doesn't have overwhelm? Oh wait, but now I don't I don't get to draw my card. Oh, it better not be Withering Whale. Ledros. That's fine. Thanks, Laxma Test. Thank you. Why are they attacking for so much? It's so mean. Let's see. I think we... We throw this in front of this thing. Or that. Throw this in front of that. If we... Bounce that thing. Mm. 
then they can't really pl replay the Solitary Monk, because they'd have to put all this stuff back in their hand, and they don't want to do that, that's for sure. And also put a 10th card back in their hand. All right, they deny, we deny back. Cease. It's a good question. Uh, Bob asked, do you think that people don't give the box enough importance? I could agree with that statement, that people don't give the box enough importance. It's not perfect, though. I've played a good amount of the box, and there there's certainly been times that I have been pretty disappointed with the card. So it's not... I don't think it's just a blanket, people need to be playing more the box statement. But I could see people not giving it enough credit. I could I could uh, go with that. So we have a lot of cards. We got to stay alive. If I play Emerald Awakener, we're looking at having nine mana. Rude deny. My path is clear. An open heart teaches more than open eyes. We sure have a lot of cards in hand. may not work. Okay, so we would make three more of those things in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gosh, I just can't really... Can't really afford all of those. That thing has barrier life steal. So barrier being the key part. So I wasn't going to be able to gain life with the Emerald Awakener. If they have burst speed, they can just respond to my grasp anyway. I'll just pass. Like, they're going to play this thing, right? The order rewards its faithful. No, they're not. Wow. They're getting more elusive. More and more elusive. Unfortunately, we're only gaining six.
This could be nice with Shadow Assassin. Because, you know, we can pick any follower. It doesn't have to be one of ours. Uh, do I use this on the Awakener? Probably should, question mark. I don't I don't really want to though. So we're not going to. That's true, yeah, the, the Shadow Assassin does let me Yeah, just search for Ruination, Withering Whale, especially Withering Whale. does sound pretty nice. We're gonna have to do some blocking. Most likely. Because that puts us down to negative 14. Probably can't go down to negative 14. Um... Let's see, let's see what we get. We're going to do that, and now we're going to do the, this Inside of Ages. Doing that first to clear out some room in my hand, because obviously we're just going to be going up to 10 cards. Okay. That's not bad. So we can stun this attacker. Bounce that thing go to seven I like putting a T hex back in their hand making them spend eight mana if they want to replay this thing Not more Heimerdingers. We don't need any more Heimerdingers. Yes! Withering Whale! There we go. Alright, we need more Karmas. For Atrocity... You have to kill kill an ally to do its power to anything. It's not like if you pump, if you like do, you know, if we play like four atrocities, we're not going to be, you know, on this, we're not doing like five damage four times. You know, like it, that's not really how that works. It will just, um, you know, you'll only be able to kill your own ally once. So they just wasted that health potion just to get a card out of their hand. They're sitting at nine cards right now. They wanted to get a card out. Um, should I target the Shadow Assassin first? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll, I will fill my hand up with Shadow Assassins. have too many cards but I'll have one two three four five six seven eight mana no I guess I guess I may just do that on rekindler I guess that on rekindler is, is probably pretty sweet that could even kill Heimerdinger looks like it will
Wow, gain a million life and clear their board for one card. That's pretty good. How do I kill my opponent before I mill out? Our lead dress is gone. Basically just gonna have to attack with karmas. Oh yeah, that's true. We got we got atrocity. Atrocity can do some stuff. Can do some stuff. That's a good call. I like that, Time Lord. That's a good plan. I think we got a pretty good plan over here now. We can use Twin Disciplines. Pump up the power of one of these things. You know, four times, give it plus 12, plus zero. It's one of these things. And then Atrocity. It does sound pretty sweet. All the Heimerdingers are gone now. Let's see, wait. If I cast Vengeance, then I'm only attacking for 19. I should just attack first and just kill them. And Karma's pretty good. pretty good. <laughs> All right, one and O. Want to know? Yeah, that plus 12 definitely be real relevant, but we drew the second withering whale and that made that Pretty easy. GG's. GG's. Demo Draven. I feel like the box could be pretty good. So same with Thrash. Keep these. Cool. Take a Withering Whale. We're gonna be behind. Just hope they're not too fast. Reporting in. <laughs> Is pretty good an understatement for Karma. <laughs> Karma is above average. Okay. I think we can all agree that we can. That's the baseline, at least. Karma's above average. <laughs> Karma is super great. <laughs> I can do this. One fours. I don't want to see one fours. No, not one fours. One fours are bad, okay? You cannot escape. Better run. 
So my plan was to Mist Call and get Shadow Assassin back, but with drawing the Solitary Monk, I think I have to play Solitary Monk next turn. Uh, so I don't really want to have the Shadow Assassin that I would just bounce back to my hand. I'd rather have the four mana and then be able to box uh, here or Mist Call this thing. Uh, but I definitely want the 4-3 to tussle with the 1-4s. Fuse is lit. So if they play two 1-drops, we can play the box. No, don't use more burn spells. That's not cool. Uh, do I deny this? So I'm already down to five, with just the these triggers, two, four, six. But we're gonna play Withering Will, so we're gonna be back up to eight, but this does one damage, so seven. So we're currently at seven. Make that four. We're gonna need some more life gain. Backfired. Down to two. So my options are Challenger, the Boom Crew Rookie to kill it, so we don't just take the two from it and die, or Shadow Assassin and draw and look for something else. I don't know exactly what we'd really be looking for. I think this is just... This is just a GG. Just GG. But yeah, I just don't even know what the hope was with the draw, even if it's like Grasp or Withering Whale. I guess like one of those. But like if we would have died, we wouldn't have had the mana for him. Cause yeah, we would have only had three mana after playing that. And they'd be able to untap and attack. Timo. Yep, win some, lose some. The one fours are really good. Um, I. Definitely could have mulliganed the Thresh. You know, I, Thresh looked... I guess Thresh was too slow. So I, I think I think we need to mulligan the Thresh next time. I don't think I kept... Like, we saw there, like, I kept the box. And the box wasn't very useful. Uh, you know, never played that card either. Gross. We're getting pickpocketed. Thief. So we're, we can claim to be the good guys now. Opponent just stole stuff from us. They're thieving ways. We like five mana cards. Shadow Assassin never dies. We've got a blocker for their thief. Yeah, absolutely, WQ. Thief down. Mm 
Kiki is a human. <laughs> nah, Kiki's just a regular guy, but he just he uh, knows programming stuff. <laughs> Sideboard. So uh, he does the auto commands and stuff. And you type a command in the chat. An Android. Well, playing Karma is. That's appealing. So we're gonna go with the Thresh pump fake attack. This is a play I like. Like, we play Thresh, they're like, oh no, now you're gonna attack and eat my thing. And I'm like, nah. You just time walk. We just, we just get to time walk, make them waste their turn, because they didn't want to like, they actually had something they wanted to play, but they wanted, they didn't want me to challenge what they wanted to play. They wanted me to challenge the two two, and then they were gonna play something else, and I'm gonna just be like, no, we just have this three six out now. I don't care that you still have a two two. Good little pump fake. Fresh has. Thresh has the ability to skip the opponent's turn. A lot of challenger units can do that. What's up, Carlos? Welcome from Brazil. Ooh. Middenstoke henchman. Alright, you have my attention. Before you had my curiosity, now you have my attention. Ah, there we go. They got to time walk back. Mid and Stoke. It's pretty fun to say. You got me. You got me. Hmm. Lots of cool things to do here. I guess we'll just ruination. We should still have like the fast mana spells. Wait, what? Deny, are you kidding me? Boo, that thief. That thief stole a deny. Wow. Well, I sure hope this works. This we can be in a lot of trouble now, dude. That's really good being able to play deny when you don't even play Ionia. Oh. Got seven wins last night in draft with Callista Elise. Awesome. Good job, BJJ. We're gonna be playing some Callista Elise with our fearsome Callista deck. Later. Oh, I shouldn't have played that. Because I could pick up Rekindler with that thing. I should have just gone with the Assassin and saved that. For picking up Rekindler later. That's fine. It's fine. We got Gromp. He's gromping around. We're only one and one. All right, opponent seems pretty sad. Guess sad that I have an elusive blocker, I guess. 
Or that I stopped at the Middenstoke henchman. Repost. Yeah, Callista has really, really gotten upgraded the last two. What? What? Oh, they're just having fun. They're playing the Minstone Catchman meme deck. This deck's very good against meme decks, that's for sure. This is it's just really, really good. They had a chance here. You know, after the deny of the ruination, if they would have had that protection for their henchmen the turn before, whenever used Grasp the Undying. Could have had a chance. Dude, Skitter is so mean right now. That is so mean. All they want to do is attack with their Teemo. That was so mean of me. Going to try to make this attack quick. Or try to get this 20 damage in quickly. Finish the game off as fast as we can. gonna be two and one I really I, I honestly think that Callista is maybe the most improved card from the last patch um, playing with it against Callista I am constantly impressed like now that's only three to flip it's pretty easy to level up Callista and level up Callista is a huge threat um, and just at three mana and being a four three you know four three um, fearsome also, hard to block Callisto being fearsome. Callisto's really good. He did that same skitter play multiple times during the draft last night. Getting people's Teemos. Ugh, that's so mean. Poor Teemo. There's a lot of different places where I want to put Callista these days. Uh, do, 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 do. Callista Elise. Vengeance could be pretty important, but it just costs so much mana. Do I keep Karma? Like, I'm keeping Vile Feast Grasp. Do I keep Karma? Yeah, we keep Karma. Okay. Solitary Monk's good. Ouch. 
Let's go Monk first before Grasp. So I don't really like just Grasp this turn where I'm not doing anything else. Next turn we can Grasp and... Um, you know, still have two mana. We can do something else, like Vile Feast or whatever. Just go to attacks. Let's do that. Definitely want my opponent to act first. To make it more likely that Karma survives. Do I kill Elise, or do I play Karma? No, I guess we kill Elise. St oh, stop having these Glimpse Beyonds. Not letting me gain life. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Probably should have blocked with Solitary Monk last turn. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Joke debate. Trapper. Onslaught of Shadows. That is a pretty awesome name. Onslaught of Shadows. Kind of figured I was going to need some help, so getting an extra karma out here to hopefully find something good. No, not really. Um, nope, that was not finding anything good. GG's. Should have kept that uh, that seven drop. The um, you know I definitely thought about it at the you know my opening hand the vengeance. Need that vengeance. I honestly don't think that like I don't think that just trying to set up ruination would have really done me any good. 
my opponent was going to be able to play around Ruination pretty easily. Um, I should have blocked the first turn with my with my 4-3. I took like 3 damage that I should not have taken, but it wouldn't have mattered. If Callista gets Rekindler and then the Rekindler second Callista does the second Callista get a follower. So yeah, Rekindler, right, exactly. So like, if when Callista grabs Rekindler, Rekindler puts another Callista into play, but it's not into play attacking. So it's just into play on your side. So it doesn't so the second Callista doesn't trigger or anything, but you do just get a second Callista in play, which is pretty nice. Callista Thresh. I basically, I always mulligan to Emerald Awakener. Like, I, I don't ever keep that card. That's a card that you want whenever you're enlightened. You don't really want it early. Hello. All right, there's our first Callista that we need to grasp. Hope they don't have all of those. Oh man, that's that's such a great combo. But the good news is they don't have the Glimpse Beyonds. You know, last game, our opponent having those two Glimpse Beyonds were huge. That's a lot of stuff over there. That's a lot of stuff. Played it really well. I mean, deny back up with all that. Chronicler of Ruin, pretty good. Pretty good. All right, rank up Sunday, not off to a good start. We got four other decks, though. Um, yeah, we ran into a couple of buzzsaws. Um, there were some of those matches opponents having. A lot of great, a lot of great pressure and um, some good interaction, too, to keep us off it. But, yeah, some great pressure there. And uh, we were too slow. Should definitely happen with this deck. This deck has an awesome late game thanks to Karma, as we saw at game one. Or maybe that was game two. One of those first two games. But if you can go under it, especially if you have Deny for a Ruination, which that happened a couple of times, um, then, you know, you can be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what would be... Yeah, that opponent's hand, too. That was, that was pretty impressive. 
All right, but anyway, Karma Thresh Control kicks off our rank up Sunday. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, one, thank you very much. Two, uh, please hit that like and uh, like button over there and leave a comment. Those two things. I would really appreciate both of those. But thanks again for watching, and I will see you for the next video.